So in this little video, You're cute. I'm going to show you how to give shapes a fill and how to give paths a stroke. And so it's very simple to do with the newest version of Illustrator. So let me show you how. So I'm going to click on this square here, which is a closed path, meaning it connects to itself. And if I look over here at the bottom of the tools window, you will see that it is currently filled with white and stroked with black. So stroke is a fancy word for outline, but it's the term Illustrator uses and it's the term that designers use. I would like to change this because quite honestly, a white square with a black outline is just a little bit boring for me. So you can change the color by double clicking on the swatches over here, just like you can in Photoshop. And if you prefer that, there's nothing wrong with it. You can even get to the color swatches from this window. But let me show you the new way. So with this active, I'm going to go over to the properties window and you'll see right here under appearance, there's a box for fill, a box for stroke. And so let's just do it that way. So I'm going to click on the little white box next to fill and that will open up the swatches window. And I'm going to choose kind of a nice bright orange color here. That's better. That's exciting, man. Groovy. And uh, now it does have a stroke on it, um, but it's kind of a boring color and it's a little bit too thin. So let's deal with that stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the stroke color and let's change that to, uh, oh, I don't know. How about a lime green? Woof. And uh, then to change the thickness of that stroke, if you go just to the right of that, you'll see here's a little uh, menu here that says one point. So that's the thickness or the weight of the line. So I can click on the up or down arrows to change the weight uh, one point at a time, or I can drop the menu here and pull down to whatever thickness I would like it to be. So uh, let's say 18 point, yikes, that's beautiful. Okay, now if I want to change the quality of the line, you can go inside this box here. But I think I'll save this till we get to the next shape. Okay, so that is how you fill and stroke a vector path. And whether it's open or whether it's closed, um, it, you do it the same way. However, this being an open path, meaning it has two endpoints and it doesn't connect to itself, um, should not have a fill. No way! Um, there are times when maybe you might want the effect I'm going to show you, but most of the time you won't. So I'm going to, with that shape marked, go ahead and click on the fill uh, swatch. And let's just fill this with, say, magenta. <laughs> Not really the effect you were going for. It's a little odd, isn't it? But remember, Illustrator, all Illustrator knows is it, you told it to fill this shape but the shape isn't closed, so that means it's not meant to contain a color. But here is the end point of the beginning of the shape, and here is the other end point. And so what Illustrator is doing is just connecting those two points together. So again, you may want this effect, but mostly you won't. So I'm gonna get rid of that, so go back to the fill swatches, and if you want no fill on something, you just click this no symbol right here, and that will get rid of it. Okay, so let's give this a stroke then. We can do that. And uh, I'll go back to that magenta again. And then I would like to make it thicker, but I'd also like to do some other stuff too. So I'm gonna click on this stroke link right here and this will open up the stroke window. And so I can change the weight in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's make this the same weight. And then I'd like to change uh, what the ends of the path look like. I mean, they're fine square, but I think I'd prefer them to be rounded. So if I go down here to cap, you'll see one of my choices is round, and that will round it off. I also have the ability to make this be a dashed line if I want. And so I can go in here, and I think we need a little bit more space between those. So I'm going to say 24 point for the gap. Yeah, that's a little better. And then I can even put arrowheads on this if I want to. So, and I can change the size of those, thanks goodness, because that's a little gigantor. 
and uh, I can also go down here and change the style of the line itself. So I'll leave that for you to play with. But you can see you can do a lot of stuff with Illustrator in terms of fills and strokes very easily. It's just a matter of getting familiar with these windows. Now in the next movie, I will show you how to add more swatches so you have more colors to choose from and some other groovy color stuff too. Oh, baby.